So what Outrig 2 does is it takes whatever sort of regression output, whatever table you just created uh, in Stata, and then we'll output it to a Excel file or a LaTeX uh, code file uh, or whatever you want. It's very flexible. It's very powerful. It's uh, much better than Outrig, by the way, which is uh, I don't think anybody really uses Outrig by itself anymore. It's all Outrig 2. Anyway. Let's run a regression. Let's just pick some random regression. Let's regress your uh, verbal SAT score on, I don't know, uh, female and all the race variables and uh, uh, your mother's education. Let's see what happens there. Okay, so we get a regression result. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm using regular regress, by the way, but this will work with pretty much every regression result, every regression uh, command that you can think of, uh, you know, with the exact same outrig two code. So I'm not going to bother with that too much. So. Once we run a regression, what all you have to do is immediately after you run the regression, uh, all you got to do is run outreg2, and it's it's pretty pretty simple. Just outreg2, and then using, and then we're gonna uh, uh, say the name of the file that we're gonna save it to. So let's say we're gonna save it to our uh, regression results. Okay. Uh, so a couple of things that we need to do. So we need to put the comma in so we can get to the options uh, section. So there's a couple options we need to fill in. Uh, so one is to determine whether we are going to replace the file or append to the file. So one of the best things about Outreg 2 is it lets you put multiple regressions in the same table without having to do a lot of the copy and pasting yourself. Uh, so we have two options. We can either put replace here, in which case it will erase the file if it's already there and start a new one, or we can say append, in which case it will just add this regression uh, as a column next to the one that's already there. So we're gonna. This is the first one we're doing. So we're gonna do replace here. Okay. Uh, next, we're gonna specify the type of file we want it to create. Of course, you can do LaTeX. Uh, here, we're gonna do Excel. Uh, we can create an Excel sheet for us. Actually, create a .xls, but it will open in Excel. Uh, uh, and then, uh, then I'm gonna do another command that I'd like to do very often, which is the des the DEC option. This one's not required. Uh, but what it does is it it rounds the uh, coefficients, and you don't want to put you know this whole you know, eight-digit string uh, into your table. That's just messy, and there's no point in it, right? You all learned about significant dif di significant digits back in your, you know, middle school uh, science class or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to say let's limit it to three decimal places uh, after the period, and then that's it. We'll just run that right there. I can click on this, uh, and it's also outputted it. Uh, so it saved this file into the, whatever my working folder is, uh, but I can also just click right here, and it will show me in Excel my regression. There it is, right? Nice table. And I can just take this, I can copy it very easily into Word. I can do whatever sort of formatting on it I want. Uh, one thing that I'd be definitely sure to do is to rename all these variables. Uh, you don't want, if you, especially if you're starting out, this might not be obvious to you, but you don't want to use the state of names for your variables in your actual paper, right? What's R Asian? I should just put Asian. Or what's Moth? What's Moth? That's Mother's Education. I should just write out Mother's Education. Anyway. All right, so the same thing works if you have multiple regressions. We just want to change that replace to an Excel. So let's regress again. Let's uh, let's instead of uh, doing SAT verbal, let's do SAT math. Do the same regression, and then we're going to use the same outreg uh, uh, syntax, except we're going to say append instead of replace. And open that up, and you can see that we're going to have both of those regressions right next to each other. There we go, right? No problem. Super easy to copy that into Word and then just be done with it. Uh, so this is for regressions, and it's very easy to do with regressions, right? And we just have it done, and it automatically will give us those three stars, the star system, right? So one star is as significant at the ten percent level, two stars at the five percent, three stars at the one percent level. Uh, and there's a lot of options you can mess with in Outreg. Uh, of course, the same thing as always, you help Outreg two, and it will give you the many, 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 many options, right? You can choose the number of decimal places. You can choose whether the standard DB, standard errors go below the coefficient or to the side of them. That's the side way option. Uh, you can uh, get marginal effects. Uh, you know, there's, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, one thing to note with this is that if you are doing something uh, with marginal effects, sometimes there's some extra commands that you need to run uh, with your marginal effects to help it store the uh, uh, coefficients in memory for outright to actually access. For that, I'm going to leave you to Google. Just do the name of the command you're, you're running, marginal effects, and outreg2, and it will pop up something that you can help do. You can also use outreg2 for things like summary statistics tables, uh, but I actually don't recommend it for that. It's actually kind of a headache to work with, in my opinion. What I would recommend if you want to do some sort of summary statistics table or a correlation matrix is to use the mkcore uh, command. So mkcore, like that. 
Uh, and what that'll do is that will uh, generate a, uh, so the basic version of it will generate a correlation matrix between some variables. So let's say we want to get a correlation matrix of all these sort of demographic characteristics down here. So let's do a female uh, all the way down to first. Yeah, let's get a correlation matrix of all those things, okay? Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the log option here, and that's going to write out the uh, correlation matrix to a file. So let's say we're going to do our correlation file, okay? Um, but we also want to include the summary statistics. So let's put in the, the option means here, and what that will do is that will include the mean and standard deviation, uh, basically what you want to have for a summary statistics table in that file. So let's run that as well. Okay, so it's not even going to give us any output. It's just going to create for us this correlation file. And this is just a text file. This is what's called a, uh, a delimited format data. So each, uh, you see there's a tab here between each entry. Basically each tab goes from one column to the next, and then once you do the enter, it goes to the next line. Uh, this is a, sort of the most basic version of spreadsheet style data. And we have the summary statistics table here on the left. We have the correlation matrix on the right. Uh, if you want to open this up in Excel so that you can do some cool stuff with it, uh, it's pretty easy to do. So all you're going to do is open up, uh, and we are going to go to the folder that's in. And we're going to say that we want to look at all files. OK. And uh, oh, there we go. Let's get that correlation file. So it's going to Excel is going to know. Oh wait, let's hold up. This is not an Excel file, right? So it's going to notice that it's delimited width. So it'll just do it automatically. It works perfectly. Uh, oh, it looks like it's not working perfectly right here, but maybe it will figure out. Oh, yep, it's a tab. Okay, so it's figured out that it's tab data, and so you can see you can just look at this preview right here whether it's going to work or not, and it looks like it will be perfect. So let's import that. Great. So now we have a table. I can copy this over here turn that into my summary statistics table. I can copy this over here, turn that into a correlation matrix if I so, do so desire. And as always, you want to change the variable names. All super simple. Now, there's only one thing that I have left out uh, between Outreg 2 and MK Core. These are the main things that I use. But also, there's a little, a less known uh, option that you can do called copy table. And this is one's nice because sometimes you just got something weird that you need to get out of Stata and it's giving you a headache, you know, summary statistics table that doesn't have the same format that MK Core does, or, you know, you can't get it to quite work with Outreg 2 or something like that. But what works in Stata is you can do this. You just select the table itself, okay? And you can't just do Control C. You can't just do regular copy. You got to do right click, copy table, Control Shift C if you're on Windows. And then if I go into Excel, I just hit Control V and look at that. It copied the table perfectly in the different cells, and then I can copy this into Word or whatever I want. Uh, this, again, is very flexible, very useful. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, uh, that uh, hopefully will help you figure out how to get all the things that you need out of Stata and into your paper. Thank you.